Okay, so this example um, is when you've got to find the sum. Um, it's not given, but you know the last term. Okay, now um, I've put the heading of this video as geometric, so it is geometric, but let's just play this that this is an exam. Um, how are you going to know that it is? Well, you can probably see like it's doubling every time. Okay, so it's like a 2 to the n. But um, let's be absolutely certain. So let's just test first. Okay, let's go... What's 0, 0,5 over 0, 0,25? And let's test 1 over 0, 0,5. And let's test 2 over 1. Okay, that's going to be 2. 1 divided by half is 2. All right, that is 2 as well. Okay, so clearly R equals 2. So I do have a geometric one. Um, I've been given this series, I'm mean, told the last term, I know that it's the last term because there's a dot 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 and a plus something, it's just they don't spell it out, um, I'm spelling it out in my title here, but this would be the way the question's phrased, okay, so again with sequences and series, you're always trying to decode what they actually want from us, okay, so sure, um, my SN formula, they want the sum, so I'm going to have to use the sum formula, but I might not start there. What I am going to do is start by writing that down. So I'm going to go with Sn equals the sum formula. So it's going to be A, 1 minus R to the N, 1 minus R. And I'm just going to do my little thing where I write down what I've got and so on. Okay, so Sn, clearly I don't have. Cool, all right, don't have that. A, do I have it? I do, I do. I've got 0, 0,25. R, I have as well. Just worked it out. And N... Damn, okay, so don't have that. I can't get Sn in any other way but using Sn formula. So I've got to have everything else to be able to get Sn. The everything else I don't have is the N. So I'm going to need the N. Is there another formula that can get that to me? And of course there is. So here again is an example where Sn and Tn are completely connected. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go back to Tn. Tn is a r to the n minus 1. I would need a t n to be able to get the n. I've got a, I've got r, I'm good, but I would need a t n. So is there an example of one I can use? Hmm, I've got t n, okay, for when I want n. In fact, the n that I want isn't any random n, it's the one for the last term. So I'm going to sub in my 256 for t n, I'm going to sub in my 0, 0,25, um, 0, 0,25, times my R, which is 2, and that's to the N minus 1. Guys, you can't multiply these two together. It's like such, it's such a common error, and yeah, um, it, it's just that that exponent, you know, bed mass exponent must be applied to the 2 first. Can't do that, can't do it. Okay, so... The way I'm going to solve this equation is first I'm going to divide that by that. Okay, because I'm going to divide both sides by the 0, 0,25. So it's a really good rule of thumb to say when you see stuff next to stuff with exponents, divide by the stuff first. Okay, so 256 divided by 0, 0,25 is actually multiplying by 4 because it's dividing by a quarter. So 1024, nice little number there, is 2 to the n minus 1. Okay, then I'm going to take my 1024, I'm going to type it into calculate, I'm going to press equals, I'm going to go shift and get it into prime factors, and I'm going to get 2 to the 10. Okay, which you might even know off by heart, um, particularly if you do IT. Okay, so 10 is n minus 1, I'm just going to save space and write it on the side here. So if 10 is n minus 1, um, then obviously 11 is n. So my answer is 11 terms will um, be the the n that will get me to where I've got to get the sum to 256. Okay, let me just go back. Have I answered the question? Because I feel really cool now. I've gotten an answer, right? Hold up. The question said find the sum of the series. Hmm. You know what? I'm only halfway there. So I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to put my 11 over there. Because now I go back and that first puzzle piece that I created with this little system here is actually going to help me solve the problem that I'm supposed to be solving. Two, sub in all of these things, 
into the SN formula. It's it's now we're doing sum to 11. Okay, I quite like writing that down. You don't have to. You can just say SN. But I like just to remind myself that that is actually part of the rest of it. Okay, so it is A, which is 0, 0,25. Um, 1 minus R, R is 2 to the N. N is 11 over 1 minus 2. Plug and play into calculator is... 511,75. Awkward, hey, that little bit after the comma, but it's okay because the sum can add up to something with a fraction. You just can't get an N like that.